Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about covalent bond. Okay, so there are various type of covalent bonds. First, first is let's say single bond between two atoms. Second, the double bond. The third is triple bond. Okay. So we will discuss each one in detail one by one. Okay. So I am starting with the single bond. So how a single bond is uh, formed between let's say the two hydrogen atoms. So as you know that there is one electron in the outermost shell of the hydrogen atom okay means in the k shell so as the atomic number of hydrogen is one so it has only one electron okay and let's say this electron is get in touch with the other hydrogen atom so what they form is they shared a pair of electron means this electron is shared to constitute a single bond between so this is how a single bond is formed means the two hydrogen atoms get them um, combined together in this way okay so this is how hydrogen atom is hydrogen gas is formed x2 gas okay so this is called as a single bond okay single bond between two hydrogen atoms okay so chlorine similarly chlorine forms a diatomic molecule cl2 similarly okay so as you know that the atomic number of chlorine is 17 so it has seven electrons in the outermost shell which is m shell so the electrons shown here are like this so it has this electron okay so th in this way these two electrons combine together to form a covalent single bond okay so now let's discuss about the double bond so students now we will discuss about how a double bond is formed so let's take an example of oxygen atom so as the atomic number of oxygen is 6 so it has only so it has atomic number of oxygen is 8 students so it has 6 electrons in the outermost shell okay so how does it uh, form the bonds with the other oxygen atom is like this so these two valence electrons in the outermost shell of the oxygen make a bond between the other two valence electrons of the another oxygen atom and they constitute together to form a double bond okay so you can also show this like so this is the structure of oxygen molecule okay so this is how a double bond is formed this is the double bond between two oxygen atom okay so now let's discuss about triple bond so let's take the example of nitrogen atom and nitrogen has atomic number 7 okay so it has five electrons in the outermost shell so let's say these five electrons are like this so the another nitrogen atom also has the five electrons in the outermost shell so what when they come combine together to form n2 this is a triple bond between these two atoms okay so this is how a triple bond is formed
okay students so now i hope that you are pretty clear about what is a single bond what is a double bond and what is a triple bond and in the next lecture we will discuss about versatile nature of carbon okay so stay tuned for the next lecture on versatile nature of carbon uh, thank you students happy learning